Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. Our next lesson is all about finding the zeros of irrational function. So what are the steps in finding the zeros of a rational function? So let's define first what is a zero. The zeros of a function are the values of x which make the function zero. A rational function is zero if its numerator is zero. So ibig sabihin, in obtaining the zeros of your rational function, we try to look for the possible values of the variable in the numerator that will make the numerator equal to zero. Therefore, to find the zeros of your rational function, solve for the values of x that will make the numerator equal to zero. Here are the steps in finding the zeros of a rational function. First, factor the numerator and denominator of the rational function if possible. If the numerator is not factorable, use that numerator to solve for the zeros. Kapag hindi pwedeng i-factor out ang ating numerator, we equate that to zero to solve for the zeros of the rational function. If both the numerator and denominator are factorable, but there are no common factors, use the original numerator to solve for the zeros. Kapag factorable yung numerator at denominator, pero wala namang common factors na pwedeng i-cancel out, we use the original numerator to solve for the zeros. If there are common factors, cancel them, then use the simplified numerator to solve for the zeros. Kapag factorable sila after factoring out the numerator and denominator, may nakita ka na magkaparehong factors, pwede nating i-cancel out. Then, yung naiwan, yung simplified na numerator, yun yung gagamitin natin to solve for the zeros. If the obtained value of x for the numerator is not part of the domain of the function, then it is not a zero of the rational function. Kapag yung nakuha nating value ni numerator ay hindi part or hindi belong sa domain ng ating function, hindi natin siya pwedeng tawagin bilang zero. Hindi siya zero ng rational function natin. Understood? Examples. Find the zeros of the following rational functions. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we will find the zeros of the following function. So the first one, we find the zeros of f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8 all over x squared minus x minus 6. So we try to factor uh, the numerator and then the denominator and see if there is something common in their factors for us to cancel them. Okay, so uh, simplifying or factoring this out. The numerator is factorable. We have x plus 4 and x plus 2. And the denominator is also factorable. We have x minus 3 and x plus 2. So factoring the numerator and then the denominator, uh, we see, we saw na may pareho sila. Okay, we can cancel x plus 2 here and x, x plus 2 here. It will give us a reduced a, frac, uh, a reduced rational function x plus 4 all over x minus 3 so since na reduce na natin siya we can immediately identify the the zero okay so uh, consider the numerator x plus 4 then we equate that to zero then transpose positive 4 to the right it will give us negative 4 so therefore our zero is x is equal to negative 4. Second example, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 all over x squared minus 4. So we try to factor these out. Okay, so yung numerator, ang factors niya ay x minus 2 and x minus 2. The denominator, the factors are x plus 2 and x minus 2. So, factoring out, makita natin na pwede, pwede siyang i-cancel out kasi magka, magkapareho sila. So, it, give, it, it gave us a reduced rational function x minus 2 all over x plus 2. So, if we try to identify the 0 here, we consider the numerator x minus 2, we equate that to 0. 
then solve for it. So transposing negative 2, it, uh, it will become positive 2. So as you can see, uh, this is not a 0. Not a 0. So why did I say so? Hindi siya 0 kasi uh, observing ang domain ng ating rational function ay yung domain niya is set of all x's such that x is an element of real numbers comma x is not equal to uh, 2 and then x is not equal to negative 2. Okay, so since hindi siya uh, hindi siya part ng domain hindi natin siya pwedeng sabihin na zero ni function. So therefore our answer here is the function has no zero. This is our answer. Has no zero. Understood? For the activity, do activity 8 on page 20. Submission of all outputs will be on Friday.